Britt Hume is Fox News' senior political analyst. He joins us tonight. Britt, thanks so much for coming on. What's so fr- I mean, I think all of us who are, you know, over the age of 13 acknowledge that human beings make terrible mistakes often. What's so infuriating, almost to the point of becoming intolerable, is their unwillingness to say, I'm sorry, we screwed up, here's where we went wrong. Just admit publicly and with sincerity what the rest of us are seeing. Why won't they do that? It's been the refusal to do that since the, this debacle first began to unfold, I think, that has characterized this president and his administration's response to it. Yes, there were heroic things done by the military and I think as well by diplomats working on this to try to get as many people out as they could, but they were responding to an emergency of their own creation. There isn't a military strategist that I know of or planner who does not think that this whole uh, evacuation was seriously underplanned, undermanned, and poorly thought out and rushed. So clearly there is that. And that is Biden's doing. Biden wanted out. He wanted out in a hurry. He wanted out by August 31st. And he got he got the military out of there, which seemed to be his chief exe- chief objective. Suppose he'd come out today and said, look, it was the right decision to get out, but we didn't execute it well. And I'm responsible for that. These were my decisions. I regret them deeply. I apologize for them. I deeply, most of all, regret the loss of life that this may occur. And I and I promise you that if we have to send troops back in there to get our people out, we will. And the Taliban ought to know that. But but I the bottom line is I'm responsible. I'm sorry. We're going to do better. My guess is and you don't see this in modern politics, but my guess is the public would be much more forgiving of him than they're likely to be now. I I, I mean this. I truly mean this. I would be grateful to hear that from him or any other president. It just seems like it's counterproductive for them to tell us that what we're seeing on television is not a disaster, that everything is great. It's a massive success. And you sort of wonder, like, how long can they keep saying that? What is the plan here? Do you have any idea? Well, I think in political terms, uh, uh, Tucker, what I suspect is that this is an effort to rally the faithful to give the faithful something to say. And you heard in the words of Matthew Dowd there, whose silliness is almost beyond comprehension, that, that, uh, you know, this was a success beyond what anybody imagined. Biden was saying that as well. You see pieces of that uh, in social media where people are trying to stick up for them. Um, But the verdict, I think, by and large, across the news media has been almost unanimous condemnation of this as a failure. And it's pretty well set now. I think in the minds of journalists who are covering Washington, covering the Pentagon, covering the State Department, covering the White House, that this has been a calamity. Uh, That's not going to be easy to overturn. And I think the public, having seen weeks of this, um, has probably reached the same judgment, whether they'll be willing to forgive Biden or let this thing pass into their the recesses of their memory remains to be seen. I have my doubts. I do, too. I really do. Brit Hume, thanks so much for that.